Well, you know, some might say half the fun of getting ready for Thanksgiving is cooking the turkey, although, as we talked about earlier, that is quite debatable. Yes. <laughs> but the seriousness of this is that with any major cooking project comes some danger. Right, and a popular way of actually cooking the bird is to deep fry it. I heard it's pretty tasty. I've never tried it, but. What you need to know is that deep fryers are the leading cause of disastrous fryers around Thanksgiving. So, News 13's David Romero is live with information you need to know to stay safe. Good morning, David. Well, good morning, Elizabeth and Matt. That is not me in the pot. That is actually the turkey. They dropped it in just a few seconds ago. We wanted Ooh, to make sure news, that David. you guys could see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not me on fire. That's the wrong turkey. Um, but of course, we wanted to mention that, of course, the Bernalillo County Fire Department officials are courteous enough to show us how to properly do it, which they did just a few moments ago, which means not filling up that drum to the top so it boils over and dropping it in slowly and making sure it's completely thawed out. Now, of course, we don't want to scare anyone away from buying the product. Just make sure that they're used properly. This is in reference to the deep fryers. First, some of the hazards. These come from the UL website. Some fryers have been known to tip over, sending the flammable oil everywhere. If there's too much oil in the drum, as I mentioned, they will spill over when the bird is put in. Some do not have thermostat controls, which, if the oil gets too hot, it could combust. Now, if you are planning on using one of these units, they should always have be operated outdoors. Never leave it unattended and make sure the little ones go nowhere near it, even when they've been turned off. And you also want to make sure that the complete the turkey is completely thawed before putting it in, and never use it on a wooden deck. And make sure you have a working fire extinguisher around. If people want to use them, use them safely and they're fine. It's just um, be smart with it, monitor it, keep somebody there watching the oil and uh, the turkey when, the, when it's in the oil. That's right and uh, as they mentioned they're not discouraging anybody from buying these kind of units but just always exercise safety first. Back to you. Sure, very good information, David. Always, always good to be reminded. Thank you. Now, according to the National Fire Protection Association, between 2004 and 2005, fire departments across the country actually went around to about 900 home fires that were started by deep fryers.